Hi, this is Brian at Midwest Digital Corp. And today we are showing you the Soliton Zhao. It's the world's first H.265 streaming encoder. Hey, I'm Scott Laysap, host of the Sporting Chef on the Sportsman Channel. I cook stuff and teach you how to cook fish and game the best way to make the most of your harvested wild game. I'm here at the Outdoor Channel, Sportsman Channel, WFN booth at the ASA Chicagoland Show, and I hope you can join us real soon before we run out of food. Hi there, I'm Lindsay Hunsler. I'm here with Midwest Outdoors, Mary Seen and Mary TV. Uh, we have a magazine that's been running since 1967, and this year we are celebrating our 30th anniversary on TV. A new show every week, two weeks a year. So. That's us, over and out. Did you really have your agenda for this? Okay, so he's asking what kind of style is it? So there's various different styles. You know, we got, I guess the general would be football style. You know, for the real, you know, kind of round ones. Those I like. Hi, my name is James Lewis with the New Tactical Supply. We're here at the Chicago Fishing Show. Uh, we're here displaying our new flashlights. These guys go from a floodlight. When you get that zoomed into a spotlight, this goes over 200 yards at nighttime. It comes with lithium ion batteries and a charger. Hey guys, I'm JC. I'm with uh, Kayak Bass League. We're the, uh, the premier Illinois uh, kayak angling kayak bass uh, tournament trail. We started last year, and this year we have two groups that's fishing, competing against, against each other. We have four tournaments plus a championship at the end of the year. Uh, we are here with uh, Rock Town Adventure at the uh, Chicago Land Travel and Fishing Outdoor Show. You guys, come on out. It's going to be awesome. We've got rods and stuff like that. It's great. My name's Tara. I'm a raptor handler with Northern Illinois Raptor Center out of Hoffman Estates. Um, we take birds and other, well mostly raptors that are injured or otherwise non-releasable to the wild. We give them homes to make sure that they're fed and housed for the rest of their lives. In our, right now we have an American Kestrel. Bird owl, great horned owl, and a sweet owl. They can't be released in the wild, why is that? Well, the screech owl here is missing an eye. Without an eye, he can't hunt like other screech owls would be able to hunt. He wouldn't be able to feed himself. If he needs to become prey to another animal, he wouldn't be able to get away. He doesn't fly real straight, as you might imagine. His perception isn't very good. I'm, I'm Bob Birch from uh, the Chamber of Commerce in Boulder Junction, and I'm on the Chamber of Commerce board. I'm the vice president and also a fishing guide up there, and uh, this is Irv Keller, uh, one of our other fishing guides, and we're volunteers to come down here and uh, try to get folks to come to the beautiful Boulder Junction area. Lots of good fishing, lots of good places to stay, and uh, good places to eat, too, thank God. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dale Bennett. I'm with the Semper Fidelis Foundation. We support uh, Marines in theater. We also support uh, disabled vets. We have a fishing trip once a year in September, and we are now doing therapy dogs. Hi, my name is Chris Eilers. I'm a fish biologist with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service out of Ludington, Michigan. Um, we do sea lamprey control for basically all of the Great Lakes, uh, and uh, we're controlling the sea lamprey because, as I said, it's an invasive species. And each adult lamprey here that you see in this tank has probably killed up to 40 pounds of fish to get to be that size. Um, they were a major problem in the past, and only through our current efforts of control are we able to keep the populations in check. Yeah, sea lamprey are located in, are, are present and common in all five of the Great Lakes. Hey, I'm Pat 
Renwick, one of the hosts of Straight Cast Outdoor Cartoon Television, premiering Wednesday, February 24th, 2016, from 7 to 9 p.m. on StrayCast.net. We're here at the Chicagoland Outdoor and Travel Show. And, and basically what we have is a feel-good type show. It's not a conventional fishing show. It's a show that mixes everything for all ages. Uh, we do interviews with the nation's top bass fishing professionals, along with local information, along with uh, news and views of the outdoor, along with product information, along with technique-specific information, all brought to you live every Wednesday night from 7 to 9 p.m.